Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about variables in Groovy. So, like in any of the programming language, variables are normally used to store various type of information. And in general, variables are nothing but the memory block, and memories are decided by the operating system. These decisions are made on the basis of data type what kind of information we are just trying to store so in general in groovy we have some number of data type and those data types are byte sort int long float double char boolean and string like in Java, we have almost all these data types except Boolean and String. So now the question arises how we should create the variable and what are the format or syntax that need to be used in Groovy to define a variable. So there are two ways. Of defining variable in Groovy. First one is by using static typing, and second one is dynamic typing. So, what does it mean by static typing? So, static typing is nothing but creating the variable with data type. So suppose we are going to create one variable, suppose variable 1, but this variable is going to have one integer. So how we are just going to define this variable by using static typing. So we will write int, sorry, it will be int variable. And will assign certain value. So here I am just assigning 0 as the value for this variable. In the same fashion, we can just create byte variable variable 1 equal to 0. So in this way, we can just create the variables by using the data type. So this is name as static typing because once we have just defined this variable, it will always remain the same. Means if we have just created one variable of data type integer, then it is going to store integer only or any of the value that is small like byte sort can also be stored inside the integer but if we need to store value dynamically at runtime or at any point of time then Groovy has just provided dynamic type so in that case we will just use def keyword def means more like defining variable so whenever we are just going to create any variable suppose i am just going to create one variable def first variable it means we have just created one variable and at runtime it can take anything. Suppose initially I have just stored one. In the later point of time I have just stored variable equal to. Suppose I am just storing string value. 
so these are two ways of defining a variable but there are certain more rules that need to be used whenever we are just creating any variable so here are the rules so in general variables can be composed of letters digit and underscore here is one rule that any of the variable will start with letter or underscore so these were few things that was more like a theoretical part let's get back to the eclipse to see the practical aspect of this variables so here in eclipse i am just going to create one class groovy class and going to add the main method as well i'm going to give the name of this class as a variable exam so here we can see that uh, one class with name variable example has been created and here at the top we can see that the extension of this class is dot groovy so now let's start with the static typing so format of static typing is data type reference or variable name so this is the format so here i am just going to create one int first number equal to 5 so now we are just going to print the value of first number so i am just going to call print ln and here i am just going to number so it will print the value 5 and here again i am just going to assign hello string to this first number and going to copy this print ln first number and going to print it so in this program we will see that line number 11 will be printed successfully but at line number 15 it will show some exception so let's see save it and run it right click go to run as and go to the groovy script so here we can see that it has just printed the first first number value that is 5 but we are also seeing one exception that is saying cannot cast object hello with class java dot lang dot string to class integer it means this hello is going to be a string but we are just assigning this to the first number but the type of this first number variable is integer it means we can't assign any string value to integer value so here it shows that this kind of typing is static it means if we have just define any variable with any of the data type then it will always accept the value equal to that data type but at the same time if we are just defining any variable with dynamic typing by using Diff. So here I am just going to create one variable and going to assign the very first value that is 5. And again I am just going to copy this line of code from here and going to paste it here. I am going to replace this first number with variable. And now again I am just going to copy this variable from here. I am going to paste it here and going to assign one value hello and again I am just going to paste the same statement here and I am just going to run this
So here we can see that uh, program has just executed successfully and the same variable is able to take the value of integer and at the next time it is able to accept the string value as well. It means Groovy have one benefit over Java that it has dynamic typing for its variable definition. And if we have just created any variable by using def keyword, then the memory allocation will be decided at front time and first it will check what kind of value we are just trying to throw inside the variable. So sequentially here you can see that we have passed initially a integer and later on we have just passed the string but at runtime it has just decided that first we need to have integer and later on we need to have the string value. So this was just a small tutorial of variable. So in next tutorial we will see some more topic of Groovy. Thanks for watching.